Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to share plans for USME Step 2 preparation. These plans are going to be divided into two. One of them is going to be for seven months and one of them is for nine months. Obviously they are flexible, similar to the Step 1 plans that we shared in the previous video. So you could edit them out, change them according to your own uh, schedule and how you would like to take the exam. These plans are made under the assumption that you are going to have seven months or nine months to do your exam. This is not going to be always true. Someone who is currently planning for step one and then they want to take step two before the next match cycle, they might need to shorten their duration of preparation and they might need to take more blocks per day at the beginning than the ones mentioned in the plans, where in the plans I try to make it 0.5 or one block per day, and then you build up from there. So solving 20 to 40 questions per day, and then you build up to be able to solve 1.5, like 60 questions, two blocks, which is 80 questions. So pay attention to these details. These plans are not going to be necessarily 100% fit for everyone. So be flexible, change it. It's a template that's ready for you. You can change it really easily. And it incorporates two reads. It incorporates two reads. So if you are someone who's looking to take more than just two reads, you want to do even more. In my case, I wanted to do two reads because of some mistakes and some things that needed to be sorted out. I ended up doing four reads and postponing my exam and this helped me score my score. So it's up to you if you are someone who his time schedule looks pretty long and you still have a long time to go until you apply to the match cycle. You might end up doing that. It will take you time, it will take you effort. It's a lot of hard work, but you might incorporate a third and the fourth read. Obviously, the resources in the plans are the resources I trust and use. Not saying that other resources are not necessary or not good enough. That's not what I'm saying. So Cheesy Dorian, Anki deck, I have made a whole video about how to use Anki. For me, Cheesy Dorian is the one I used. You can use Anking. It's, it's up to you. They are really very similar. They share a lot of um, cards. So it's up to you. The other thing is in the second read, you will have to make your Anki cards for your mistakes. And also in the previous video about Anki, we have discussed how to do that. So please go back to that video if you are currently in your second read or you would like to learn that from now. But I don't recommend that you make mistake cards from your first read. You are going to make a lot of mistakes, learn from them. There is no point in making Anki cards for them. Last thing I wanted to say is look into uh, the plan and the order of the systems. If you are someone who is currently doing rotations, you are doing cardiology, better do cardiology first rather than doing obstetrics or infectious diseases. The order I have made in these plans is just based on what I feel is a good balance. Taking on infectious diseases followed by neurology, neurology followed by psychiatry will be really hectic, will be very hectic. So trying to disperse the big systems, these black boxes, and having some smaller systems, easier ones, and this is a relative term. For me, respiratory looks easy. For you, it might be the toughest in the world, and that's completely fine. Cardiology might be easier for you than for me. So also take a look at that, feel free to adjust feel free to adjust. I will have the links in the description below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.